Changli story mission. So I accidentally ran into it. So now I'm gonna basically force to do it. So yeah, kind of like an emergency stream that's happening right now. The Wei Chi pieces were scattered, but the Guru remained calm. It's getting late, he said gently to the woodcutter. Shouldn't you be heading down the mountain? As British. he glanced at the sky, the woodcutter was shocked to see how much time had passed. It couldn't have been more than two hours, he thought in disbelief. Feeling apologetic, he prepared to leave, worried that the guru would be annoyed with him. But when the woodcutter okay. turned around, he nearly jumped out of his skin. The hermit guru, who had been playing Wei Chi and drinking wine, was now gone. In his place lay a shattered Weichi board and a heap of decaying bones. The woodcutter was so scared that he dropped his bamboo basket and ran down the mountain without even looking back. As he reached the mountain's base, he was hit with a stark realization. The quaint village he remembered had bloomed into a bustling town with sturdy brick houses replacing the humble thatched cottages and where his home once stood only an empty wasteland remained this is about one for a moment like time thing he noticed a date on the calendar that he had never seen before yeah in shock he grabbed a passerby and urgently asked excuse me can you tell me the current date and time as he heard the answer his legs went weak. Everything had changed. Time had passed, and his loved ones were gone. No one remembered him anymore. Yeah, this so is a story that Chang Li said. Right? Mount for a moment, but how is he still alive and kicking? With a hundred years worth of time inside him, shouldn't he? Your story. It's a bit far-fetched, don't you think? I mean, if I wasn't from Hangzhen, I might have fallen for it. Well, that's the whole point. The truth is stranger than fiction, my friend. Every detail in that story is based on real events. Let me share with you the other legend of Mount Firmament. For deep within its sacred peaks lies a powerful secret. The secret... This map looks sick. That's one thing about Mount Firmament. So sick. We all know that Mount Firmament is the abode of the Sentinel, gathering spiritual energies from both heaven and earth for countless eons. Over time, even the mountain itself has taken on the form of our majestic Sentinel. Yeah. Living in the mountains for long stretches of time, surrounded by fresh air and drinking from nature's own bounty, can add years to one's lifespan. Yeah, I agree. Probably. It all starts with that game of Weichi, one that the woodcutter stumbled upon. Too bad those secrets have been long forgotten. Gather around now, people. You're in for the story of a lifetime. Oh, she's here. Hello. Damn. This character went still. I'm dead. This is the best catch a made character ever. So are you going to tell me why your hands are red? What's with the ruckus? Huh? Why is this guy What's coming up? Hey. Chang gave it to me a moment ago. Behold Hong Zhen in its entirety. Next to a ring and hanging eaves. When eternal snow thaw into flowing streams, let us reconvene. Hmm? Okay. Oh, I see, I see. 
Oh, yeah, I know what that means. I see I've got no clue at all. So much for an anticipation. I get the very last part, part at least. She's like that. you out. <laughs> well, that's a fancy way to write stuff. What would you say like that? It's about a meeting spot. I, mean, I guess around those big rings. And now, this next sentence. Hmm. Eternal snow thaw into streams. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? New folk, local folklore. Oh, how did you manage to get all that hidden meaning? Oh, but thanks for the something. The buildings in Hongzhen all look pretty much the same. Which one exactly was she talking about? Can I ask her to find out? I've done this before. Indeed. Uh, makes sense. Lead the way. And she just came in and disappeared like that. That's crazy. But so she was like getting affected by the time thingy as well. What can I help you with? About the riddle. Snow thaw into streams? Ah, uh, you're not from around here, I bet. When we say that in Hangzhen, we mean the Shichen of Wei. Early afternoon, the warmest hours of a day. Legend tells of a visitor who ventured here some centuries ago. Back then, local villagers were struggling with no firewood due to heavy snow. This visitor opened up a path with their forte and diverted a hot spring to provide warmth and aid. People say it was once a stunning sight, with mist and ice flowing westward down the streams, as if many celestial beings were returning to the sea. Now the sight has unfortunately disappeared, but the saying sticks. We use it to describe time in local speech. You see? Well, it's what Grandpa Zo tells everyone. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but when it comes to stories like this one, they're usually made up. Not that I don't want to believe them, but... Oh, you were listening to one of his stories earlier too, right? What did you think? I was a mission the story so thumbs down. Sounded interesting. Really? So you're into stories and anecdotes too? Grandpa Zhou's great grandfather was a descendant of the first inhabitants of Hangzhen. He grew up hearing stories about Mount Firmament. Recently, he heard Madam Magistrate had resolved the crisis, so he decided to visit and learn more about his roots. People in town are curious about the outside world and how they are perceived. Grandpa Zo is happy to answer their questions and has unknowingly become popular among them. Before he knew it, everyone was coming to talk to him. I'd be a fan of the storytelling of Jinjo. It's funny to hear outsiders describe my hometown, Hangzhen, as mysterious. We're just a normal place with our own quirks. Especially lately, with so many people from Jinjo coming on some kind of expedition. They're obsessed with us, like we're some kind of ancient relics. Can you believe they actually asked if our pavo plums have magical powers? <laughs> Time truly is Crazy. a formidable force. Yeah, so this character looks like the girl that was in Ling Yang's story quest, no? Is that huh? what this is? How did she disappear like that? Wait, are you that legendary rover who saved Jin Zhou? <clears throat> what can I do for you? Let's go about the Riddle and the note. Well, you've come to the right person. I'm here to compile wow. a new travel guide for Hong Jin. Next door ring and hanging eaves. Oh, I know where that is. You right. need to stand on the tallest building in Hangzhen to see what you're looking for. It's on the northeast side of the town. Can't miss it. You'll see it once you get there. Say, that person earlier, that was Lady Cheng Li, right? I saw you talking uh -huh. to her. Famous. Of course. Everyone.
one in Jinjo knows about Lady Oh, that's right, because she's like... Even though she rarely appears... Right, I keep forgetting who Jinxi and Jiangli actually are. That's crazy. As Master Xuan Miao's disciple, she excels in the arts of politics and diplomacy. Her travels have taken her across the four seas. And as Secretary General, she has commanded respect from all who cross her path. Yeah! And she came all the way to Jinzhou to help out Magistrate Jinxi for the sake of peace in Huanglong. She's been working tirelessly behind the scenes since then, fully dedicated to her task. No way. How could anyone not revere such a selfless act? Oh, I could have sworn I just saw her. Where did she go? I wish I could take one more look. Uh... uh <laughs> Mm. What? What do you want? I've done nothing wrong. It's called a riddle. Huh? Oh, you're just asking for directions. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm not a local. Can't help you there. Wait, y y you were the one talking to Lady Chang Li earlier, weren't you? Brand, there's no way all of these guys saw her. Man. Oh. If I were you. I'd steer clear of her. She's a deceitful woman who enjoys toying with people's hearts. A cunning villain who will manipulate you without you even knowing it. Okay. <laughs> Haven't you heard? She left her government job to come here, to this small town. There's got to be a reason behind it. I heard she chose to quit her job. But I bet she messed up back in the capital and got demoted here as punishment. <laughs> Okay. Then I guess you've also been fooled by her looks. It's a weird one. That woman will stop at nothing to get what she wants, while you remain oblivious to her true intentions. And by the time you catch on, <laughs> you'll already be caught in her trap. By her looks, indeed. Hey, wait a minute. Has she actually achieved anything substantial during her time in Jinzhou? Or did Madame Magistrate just fall for her clever words and let her slack off? Okay, keep going. I... I have my reasons to believe so. I heard she tricked that VIP guest of Jin Zhou into going to Mount Firmament. <laughs> Just think about how dangerous that place was. She must have been afraid of him getting too close to Madame Magistrate and ruining her plans. <laughs> what a sinister woman. Fortunately, that guest was a skilled fighter and he managed to escape unharmed. I hope you don't mind my frankness. Just giving some advice, because you look pretty innocent and uh, gullible. <laughs> and not from Jin Zhou, judging by your outfit, right? Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about something I need to do. Sorry, gotta run. Why are the people here so divided about Chung Li? Go we'll figure it out. Mm, you humans make everything so complicated. Well, at least now we know what she wanted to say. It's so the highest place in Hongzhen in the early afternoon. Now that's much easier to understand. Why does she have to make it a whole riddle? <laughs> I'm getting sleepy again. Oh, it's her. Rover? The leader. Nice to see you again. How are you liking Hong Zhen so far? It's nice. The crisis at Mount Firmament has been resolved. And the waterway between Jinjo and Hong Zhen is open once again. As a result, there has been an increase in visitors from Jinjo, making the town more lively than before. With the chaos subsiding, our town and city are now reconnected, allowing residents to live and work in peace. Mm -hmm. We owe you a debt of gratitude, Rover, for your efforts in clearing the remaining effects of temporal disruptions in Mount Firmament over the past few days. That was a beast. I have my money ready. I don't see Rover talking like that. It's kind of weird. We're all indebted to you, Hong Zhen and its people alike. If there's anything you need, 
don't hesitate to ask. I couldn't help but notice you've been asking around. Is there something you need assistance with? Xing Yi and Cheng Li have a mutual trust as acquaintances. It should be fine to ask Xing Yi instead. Well... Hmm. I see. I wish he yawned. It sounds like something Chang Li would do. Even though we're not that close, I know a bit about her personality. She wouldn't just hand over something that symbolizes her identity to anyone. Especially when... Especially? I think it would be better for her to tell you personally. The Magistrate's counselor is shrouded in mystery. And her motives are often hard to decipher. When she wants something done, it's never as straightforward as it seems. And few can grasp the true meaning behind her plans. The rumors and controversies surrounding her never cease. But she seems unfazed. Oh, I wouldn't think she would be like that. However, what? I believe one has to get involved personally to truly understand Chang. I guess she is kind of crazy, so it makes sense. Regardless of public opinion. <gasps> About the riddle. I keep I done it like three times in the last five minutes. What the fuck? Out by yourself. But remember, it's not just about the answer, but also what she wants you to understand. Hmm. Then, if you'll excuse me. She kind of sounds like, like that woman that like gives you missions in the Hitman. If there's anything else you need here in Hongzhen, please do not hesitate to let me know. Thanks. But I will never talk to you ever again. No. How do you say that? Something like that. Hey, onwards. Um, I guess that's the tallest building. Onwards. Is it a... <laughs> okay. Wow, it's really huge now that we look at it. Again, what their ways with their interesting choices. That was a voice acting. Next hanging eaves. If we look from here, is it that pavilion? Hmm. It does look quiet. Should be a nice place for meetings. <sighs> Ugh, getting eepy again. That must be the place then. I'll get going. Two, one on three. A little time skip in this game is like more bearable than Genshin's. Genshin's take so long. There it is. Apologies for my delay. That was we've been here for a while. You looked adorable focusing on the Wei Chi board. I didn't want to interrupt you. 
Thanks, I guess. Okay. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I really love your riddles. Oh? And what makes you think so? Those tokens from Jin C. It was your idea, was it not? <laughs> so, you've guessed it. Sorry, Rover. Jinjo faced multiple threats back then, and we had to be cautious. We did not intend to inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. Okay. She explained it. Still, I owe you an apology in person. This time, <laughs> I just wanted to see you. What's happening? The brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken words. So it's like that. I am very grateful you decided to come. Again, what's happening? Okay, another errand to run. Apologies for giving you that impression, Rover. That's not how we treat our saviors. Well, I merely have happening? questions, and I was wondering if you may have the answers. Does this game of Weichi look familiar to you, Rover? Not sure. Don't that you and Jinshi play? I heard about your memory loss. Please, pardon me. <laughs> Chillax with it. The... There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have you heard about it? Yeah. At this point. Yes. I have a slightly I different these characters on screen, though. this tale to share. That's kind of crazy out here, though. Damn. Centuries ago, a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite their age difference, they soon became friends and often played Weichi together. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them, having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket rotting away panicked he bumped into the weichi board despite the interruption the visitor remained unfazed they offered the woodcutter some tea then guided him down the mountain shielding him from dangerous temporal disruptions after that the visitor disappeared okay many years later the Taoist cultivator became a legendary hermit guru. Upon returning to Mount Firmament in his final years, he reunited with that elusive visitor. The two resumed their unfinished game. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces as a final parting gift. But he died. So he wasn't immortal, right? Yes and no. This game is missing the final 20 moves. It is unfinished. Right, otherwise we'll know the answer. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess. The story changed over time. Infused with fantasy in each retelling. But that's how old tales go. Slowly losing their truth as they're passed down. Other photos may hold some truth too. Precisely. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic message. This game record can solve the crisis of time. From what I know, only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, 
Controlling time is indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma, at least for now. Been undamaged sample of temporal mandate. Hmm. If that is the case, we'll be able to heal the Sentinel's wounds. But our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold my teacher's memories. Not any real value. So I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please join me? No. Sure. I won't ask any questions. Thank you for lending me a hand. I promise it will be worth your while. Interested in this tale too. I mean, I'm healing the sentinels. That sounds good. Let's go. Very well. Let's meet on the gallery road outside Hongzhen. I still have some preparations to do. Please go ahead. I'll join you later. I'm surprised that we're because like I heard people saying that we don't meet Changli until way later. So which was a lie. Because we've been chatting to her for like the last ten minutes. Might as well make uh, Who will be sitting on the other side of the board this time? How do I wanna do this? Mm. Rover's good, but I don't have Rover built. Make it fast. Let's go. Oh, she's here. Oh. Interesting. Make it fast. Mint. Make it fast. Hello. Rover, you're here. Wait there before me. Yeah, you said to well, get here first. As the wayfinder, I do know a couple shortcuts. Try to get me while. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely location on my last visit. We'll be heading there. See if we can find anything new. Spice her fort. After dealing with those artificers, I ruled out the other locations on my way to join you. But one can only do so much alone. This is why I need your help. I need to go back on my words. How reliable. Then let's get going. W. Cool. <laughs> yeah, go on. What is it? Nothing, Rover. I just thought the snow is beautiful today. Why is she like? I feel like everything that she's saying has like a different meaning than like what she's actually saying. You seem curious about that ancient structure. I mean, yeah, it, it looks, looks sick. familiar. Like the abandoned court of Savante facility I saw, but bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared along with our sentinel. Later, the court of Savante based their Kronos orders on its design. Make it fast. Hmm. <sighs> Make it fast. Okay. Yeah. Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow, hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. 
Did you try it too, Zheng Li? <sighs> no. I only watched from afar. My forte always melted the snow faster than I liked. Unlucky. She was always too strong. I was looking kind of crazy what Rover is wearing, no? Still not over that. Okay. We can see the whole of Hongzhen from here. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. Yeah, how? I wonder. I don't know. Maybe it's because your presence makes me feel at ease. I wonder if like we were her teacher or something. Wait! I smell tacit discords in that cave. No, there's more. Tacit discords, humans, and smells like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Ugh, it's so familiar. Ow. Come on! After all we've been through, you still don't trust my sniffer? Huh? <laughs> Be grateful. I'm giving you a warning. Yeah, she probably doesn't know. Rover, did something happen? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh -huh. We are assaulting people. Okay, so I, I mean, I guess. In the right? Same direction we're going. Could it be? Let's go. Make it fast. What? Signs of climbing. Oh. Someone may have been here before us. Thanks. Get away from me. Uh, I can't hold up much longer. No, why they give me her chance? Like their chance, baby. We'll take it from here. I... Thanks for your help. Yeah. Go on. I. I'm okay. Wait. You. Are you the rover? How do you know me? You're that hero who fought against the Stronodian. And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate. Everyone's been talking about you. And Lady Chung Li. I, I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. Without your help, I'd have been a goner for sure. I can't die here. Not when I've got someone waiting for me. I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. Was he dying? Relax. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain oh, he's is given on the side, right? Doesn't like her. Before entering the mountain, any explorer must submit a request and can only do so while accompanied by the Midnight Rangers. Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I... I heard about Mount Firmament's legend, so I came to find its secret. I've only been in the mountain for half a day. Everything was going smoothly before those monsters pounced on me on my way back. I must get back. Fooling. She's still waiting for me. I like he's only been here for half a day. It seems he is still hiding something from us. 
and wake him up. He needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Times against us. What did they even click? Agreed. The appearance of tacit discords is indeed unusual. We can ask him later when he's recovered a bit more. On that note, we still don't know his identity. Judging from his uniform, he might be affiliated with the Pioneer Association. I'm away for him. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Could be his friend or an acquaintance. Good point, Rover. Let's head back. He's back. Take four. Oh shit. Why you stop? Isn't that Wu Li? What happened to him? Mm, not really. Okay. He showed up in town and started asking weird questions to all the older folks. The secret of immortality. Oh, he really went up the mountain, didn't he? No, uh, I'm fine. Sir, do you know where his companions might be? I'm not sure. There are lots of other people in town who are dressed just like him. I guess I know his name. Hello. His companions? His gear, though? These are last year's designs. Perhaps you should go ask Yoning. Yoning's just up ahead. Mm-hmm. Yoning, what's up? Whoa! Uh, uh, greetings, Lady Chengli. Uh, how may I help you today, Lady Chengli? Oh, and hello, Rover. <laughs> oh, the person on your back. Is you he okay? kind of cooking? We found him on Mount Firmament. Do you know where his companions might be? Isn't this Wu Li? What happened to him? I was attacked. It's not conscious. He's one of the Pioneer Association's explorers, but we don't see him around Jinjo too often. I remember he went on sabbatical months ago. And he left with Fu Ling. Yes, Fu Ling, his girlfriend. I think they're visiting Hongjian together. They're staying at the inn over there. Oh, okay. Fu Ling asked us about his whereabouts not long ago. She seemed quite worried. Speaking of, is he really okay? Perhaps we should get him to a hospital first. No, I'm not going. Don't worry. We'll help you find Fu Ling. Okay. Oh, she's pretty cute. I... <coughs> I see. Breathe. Take it easy. <coughs> Thank you. I'm okay now. Who are you? And Wooly, is he? Are they fooling? Yes, I am. Can you please tell me what happened? Fooling? Wooly! You're hurt. I've been looking for you. You didn't pick up my calls. Hey, why was she acting like she didn't recognize him? Great news, Fuling. I found it. Finally. I found a way to slow down your illness. No more pain, my love. We can finally be together. Forever. Y you mean that legend? It's real? Fuling... Are you... Are you not happy? No, I am. I I'm so glad to hear it. <sighs> yes. Wooly! Thank you, Rover, Lady Chungli. You saved his life. That's okay. Please ask, what on earth happened? 
I've never seen Wu Li like that. Well. Then we found you. So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Was that not the case? N no. I I've been... I've been waiting for almost a week. It's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. If it weren't for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. What is obsession? Wooly, he... he did it for me. I used to work as a landscape painter. Wu Li and I met through work, and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. As if some music or Wu something. Wu stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. Until. Two weeks ago, when he brought me to Hong Zhen, said he had a surprise for me. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip, but he disappeared for seven days. And now he's back rambling about having found a way to stop my condition from progressing. So I'm on the legend. Mount Firmament's secret of immortality, I presume? Yes. Wu Li told me that he's researched and found an untouched paradise on Mount Firmament. A place where time stands still. He said if I lived there, my condition would never worsen. Mm, it it can't fully how? cure me. But at least we can spend eternity together. At first I thought it was just a myth. But then you brought up how he only spent half a day in the mountains. Oh, maybe he was telling the truth. To temporal destruction. Those were my thoughts as well. But Wu Li seemed very certain. Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However, thanks to Magistrate Jinshi and Rover, these disruptions have been dealt with. Or so we had hoped. Nope. So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the mountains. And unfortunately, Wu Li has stumbled upon one, mistaking it for the legendary cure he was searching for. Little did he know it would only put him in more danger. I see. So that's why there were rumors of rangers being here to take care of the leftover tacit discords and block off access to the mountain. Then, if this temporal disruption you speak of is truly so dangerous... Rover, Lady Chengli, please help us get rid of it. For the sake of everyone here. My friend. He truly thinks it's the only way to save you. He's willing to take a slim chance just for you. I... Freezing my own time. <sighs> I don't think I should do that. It's not my best option. I appreciate your concerns. But I'll be fine. Dreams always come to an end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> I'm, I'm okay. I haven't talked this much in a long time. To rest. I'm just a little tired. I'll be fine after some rest. Yeah, so we'll go. Once Wooly wakes up, I'll 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 make an answer for the second option. To him. If you have any other ideas, just tell him. But if you keep it all to yourself, no one, even those closest to you, will know how you really feel. Yes, I understand. Rover, things are taking a turn. We should probably tell Lady Xing Yi first. But Xing Yi's voice is like... Not bad, but like it's different. I don't know. Sounds weird. 
like the mixing or something, or maybe the microphone itself, I don't know. Make it fast. It sounds like always like a Bochangli's voice. Like she sounds good as in terms of voice acting, but microphone mixing, whatever is like not the what best. Here at this time of the day? It's not like scr crisp. I don't know. Help. I see. Strange appearances of tacit discords in the mountains and undiscovered temporal disruptions. There are several questionable details according to Rover's description. What do you make of Fu Ling's words from earlier, Rover? I'm with a woolly. He claimed to have spent only half a day in the mountains. But it's been seven days since he returned to Hongzhen. That does sound like some kind of temporal disruption. One that wasn't strong enough to affect Hongzhen. After Jinxi's battle with the Sentinel, she ordered Midnight Rangers to patrol Hongzhen and inspect Mount Firmament for any lingering temporal disruptions before reopening it to the public. Rover, You've been exploring the mountains lately, so I'm sure you have a good grasp on Mount Firmament. But if there are any hidden disruptions we missed... So I kept it hidden. Precisely. Yet, why did it reappear at this point? A specific trigger. Fu Ling's legend differs from the situation at Mount Firmament we're familiar with. In that tale, mortals were spared the cost of losing years from their lives. He was utterly convinced of his discovery, and he somehow managed to run into temporal disruptions in half a day's time. Also, when I questioned him, he evaded my inquiries. Yeah, he doesn't like you. Lies that are most challenging to detect aren't usually outright falsehoods. Rather, they hide parts of the truth. The explorer wanted to save his friend, indeed, but he was also hiding something. I've become rather curious about the truth behind this temporal disruption. What inside towards all of this? Did you notice something, Rover? For someone with a terminal illness, they should hold on to any chance of survival, no matter how slim. Is that what you think? I mean, it's a hard maybe one. Maybe she's come to terms with her destiny. Or maybe she never planned on continuing to live like that forever. Chang Li? <laughs> Well, please pardon my baseless speculations. Hmm, okay, she meant something else by now. About herself, I maybe? I you'd notice too. The frequency disturbance here is weak. It's similar to past temporal disruptions at Mount Firmament, but not exactly the same. Master Xuanmiao's records show that this is where the game record last appeared. This is also where we found that explorer. As Chang Li mentioned, this anomaly may indeed have something to do with that legendary game record. Exactly. If this were to be the case, then we are not the only ones searching for its whereabouts. The explorer did not tell us about his source of information. But his knowledge of Mount Firmament far exceeds that of a first-time visitor. You mean... Tumbangers behind all of this. Got it. The Midnight Rangers will block all entrances to the mountain for now. And Chang Li? 
You still have the power to send in garrison troops as needed. We left Mount Firmament in a hurry. I need to go back up the mountain and investigate further. I have some theories that could use confirmation. We're still unsure about the exact location and range of the temporal disruption. Regardless, its reappearance is a pressing issue that needs our attention. It may get dangerous. Oh. Being another person board makes it less dangerous. Well then, thank you, Rover. Exactly. Thank you again for your help. You were supposed to be here for a relaxing time. But it seems another crisis has popped up. Do take extra caution. Uh, maybe this place would be better. Make it fast. Yeah, I didn't get lost. It's about to get lost. Make it fast. Now it has become quite clear what the two were thinking. I had my speculation. Fooling has come to terms with her impending death. She doesn't buy into the legends of immortality. Instead, she simply wants to make the most of the time she has left and fulfill her and Wu Li's dreams together. If Wu Li wants to reach that so-called paradise, He'll be trapped inside forever. It also means he'll have to give up his entire future as an explorer. That is not what she wants for him. Her ultimate desire is for her lover to embrace her inevitable passing and to realize the joint aspirations they hold in her place. She hasn't given up, but rather clings to hope for their future. Even the same choice. She won't be there to see it unfold. Hmm? <laughs> Why the sudden question? Kind of unfolding deeply. I'm just making an educated guess from what we've collected. And honestly, fooling isn't exactly good at keeping things to herself. Let's stay focused on the issue. Sure about that. While the diary is cryptic. It still exposes the true intentions of whoever misled Wu Li. It's no coincidence. All the clues point to a correlation between the temporal disruption and the legends of the Weichi game. Or maybe someone's trying to make us connect the dots. The Fraxinus? Yes. Information on the actual powers of Jue. This isn't the kind of information an ordinary explorer can obtain. I guess our old friends have still not given up. They went to great lengths just to lead us here. It 
would be rather rude of us to not respond in some way. According to the information in my master's notes and Wooly's map, the place we're looking for should be just ahead. Yeah. Make it fast. Okay, so do something else. Is that? The chaotic temporal disruptions are even clearer to see. Are they? Traces of excavation on the ground. Looks like someone was trying to dig a hole with their bare hands. Could it be Wu Li? This is a Weiji board. The abnormal time flow here is most likely caused by the Chronosorters. Perhaps there is a way to fix it. Yes, I will fix it. Marvelous play. Truly remarkable. Never had I imagined I'd experience such a great game of Wei Chi on Mount Firmament. Please, no need to be so modest. I can tell the difference between our skill levels. Hold up. This is my master's voice. The voice of the other person seems deliberately erased. Who do you think the other person looks like? Is this why you brought me here? It's just being deep in font does not answer. Mm, I see. It has been decades since last we met, but you, my friend, still look the same. Well, turns out I had already met you all those years ago, my lifesaver. And you're older than me. So you remember our promise. Our a new city is about to be established. I may have spoken out of turn. If you're not in a rush to depart, Jinjo, how about another round of Wei Chi with me? Oh, I am immortal. Okay. <coughs> well played. <laughs> I barely noticed how so much time has passed. Every move in Wei Chi is fluid and unpredictable. My clan are a group of hermits. We view the world as a game of strategy, manipulating the ebb and flow behind the scenes. Oh, but you, my friend, chose to enter the game yourself. It's a dangerous path with no end in sight. Now, please don't feel sad for me. If I die, it would be an honor to rest at the sentinel's feet. Okay, so there's one we had to do it. Comes, Makes the sense. One who shall finish this game of Wei Chi with you will not be me, but rather my apprentice. Mm -hmm. or do my plans seem too risky to you? There's no need for concern. With her intelligence and quick thinking, she will surely be able to solve this puzzle. The results of this game will decide the fate of Jinja. And even the entire world. The road ahead is long and treacherous. So that's why Chang is weird around... She's trying to game this game in, but we don't know what the fuck's going on. 
to save June show apparently. Her eyes are glowing. Damn. Ah, yes, everything's going according to my plan. You've come this far and followed us here, yet you hesitate to reveal yourselves. Guess I'll have to take the lead and extend an invitation. Oh. Don't assume you'll always be in control, Chung Li. Enough Our talk. Our friendly chat is over. It's time to say goodbye. Die. Okay, shit. Oh, don't give me this stuck shit, Chung Li. Still not giving up yet, Chung Li. We know more than that unfinished game. We are well aware of the price you have paid. You're dangling at the end of your rope. Your unwitting trail has led us straight to our target. Oh, is that so? Together we vanish. Be reduced to cinders. How delicious. <laughs> Incinerate. Take four. Mind's eye. At the zone. That's funny. The Sonoro Sphere is open. Go. What? Sorry. But you're not getting past me. Jue's formidable time-bending abilities at their peak. All trapped within this sonorosphere, as I'm sure you are well aware. Do you really want to chase after this legend when you don't even know if it's real? So what? Wouldn't it be a sight to behold as this Sonoro Sphere consumes everything in its path while the temporal disruptions bring death? You're out of your anyway, mind. Anyway, Rover, thank you for letting us into this Sonoro Sphere. You are indeed very special, as the Excellency foretold. Get the fuck out of it. Oh no. <laughs> that was funny. But these cutscenes are still like so awkward though. Damn. No sign of the Fraxidus. Chung Li is also nowhere to be seen. I need to find her quick. No! Don't come any closer! Oh, ah, we're back in the past. I see. Die. Okay. Hello. Burn, let me help you. I, I'm fine. It's my forte. I'm used to it. You, stay away from me, or you'll get burned.
You won't bother me. This village was attacked by tacit discords. There's nothing left. Why did you come here? No one but the exiles are willing to stay here now. You know Chang Li? Chang Li? Who's that? I'm the only one here. Besides the tacit discords. Are you here alone? When I'm here, no one's afraid of me. And I won't hurt anyone. Anyway, you should hurry up and leave. It's not safe for you to be here. Just like Chang Li. Mirages in a Sonaro sphere shouldn't be able to hold a conversation like this. Are these phantoms pulled from Chung Li's memory? Generated by the retroact effect? Huh? Can't leave her here alone. Why did you stop talking? Are you lost? Yeah. I... I can take you somewhere safe. I know a shortcut that leads to a safer village. <sighs> Reach out. Something like this here before? These mechanisms. They need to be unlocked from both sides at once. Okay, let's each handle one side. I'll go over there. It's open! Nice. We'll be safe once we get out of here. This place seems a bit different from what I remember. I guess Chang is gonna open that somewhere. These are the villagers attacked by tacit discords. Why? Yikes. There weren't any of them here before. Don't worry. My forte is strong. I will get rid of them and protect you. Make it fast. Anything else? Actually, there's more of these. Let's just get it. It's like we're never gonna be here ever again, so why not? Make it fast. Test it, discords. Watch out. 
I fight them alone. I'm not just any kid. I'm strong, you know. Oh. Yeah, that's why I said. Destroyed by those scary monsters. They hid me in a safe basement. While everyone else died or ran away. No one except me made it out alive. When I came out, no one was there anymore. Now, I must get to somewhere safe. Let's go find it together. Okay. There's a piece of paper. It has turned yellow. Oh. If I had arrived sooner. My fault. Yeah. I found some dry rations. Oh, it's a bit frozen. Are you hungry? You can have these. How about you? I, I'm not hungry yet. How do you like these? I like how the writing changes. Shonorosphere. this guy more tacit discords I'll handle them okay I hate this guy because he knocks up so much evils be gone like this chi lasts evermore In flames, feathers incinerate. Break. Take four. Goodbye. Is this the key to that door? Yes. And those tacit discords just devoured the frequencies of the guard on door duty. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, look, shinies. That's an interesting voice link. <laughs> it might look kind of scary, but actually, 
it doesn't hurt at all. Of course. Yeah. Sure. I'm a resonator too, you know. My forte is a powerful one. I control fire. Nothing's brighter and warmer than fire. It can burn away the cold and drive away monsters. If I could burn yourself too. That's because I don't know how to properly control it yet. The resonator who taught me about my forte said, if I don't use it properly, I'll die young. They also said a lot of things I couldn't understand. Told me I shouldn't use it too often. But if I don't use my forte, I'd get eaten by the tacit discords or killed by the bad people. What's the point of living a longer life if I can't even survive? I want to live. I want to become a strong grown-up. I want to have good control of my power and protect the people who protected me in the past. And then... And then... I'll make a peaceful and prosperous world for everyone. Yes. According to the village teacher, that means children will no longer be in danger from monsters. We'll all have enough to eat and stable lives. But I've still got lots to learn. So, I'll need to find someone really strong and learn from them. I'm very strong. Thank you. I want to become as strong as you are. Sure. I... I understand. I'll do my best. What a strange place. It's supposed to look familiar, but there are so many things I've never seen before. This door... I don't know why, but I keep getting the feeling that I've been here before. It's so weird. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find something. Make it fast. Yeah, it's like the easiest puzzle ever. Make it fast. Oh. Make it fast. Hey, we're going back. Make it fast. This is Created inside this sonorosphere. As I stepped inside, both Rover and the Fraxidus vanished into thin air. A sonorosphere affected by temporal disruption. Did he do this to mislead? To separate? Or perhaps I should be careful. Whatever the case, I must find Rover first. Okay. I'm starving. Oh, this thing. Oh. If I burn it a bit with my fire, I can eat it, I guess. Try to play me, you little thief. I found these all by myself. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm buying this story? This is our turf. Why don't we let her stay? See, she's a... We've got plenty of mouths to feed already. <sighs> I 
can do it. Yes. Back then, I didn't know how to control my flames. I could only brute force my way out of it. My body was always covered in burns. Pepper! Feathers incinerate. Take four. <laughs> Trial through sacrifice. Ha. Be reduced to cinders. Evils be gone. Life is in everything. <laughs> Together we vanquish. Perish in flames. Beckon the divine flames. I don't feel like we're gonna talk about this. What's up with the like eye thingy? Ma'am, are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you for driving those monsters away. I'm a resonator. These wounds are nothing. Oh, oh, honey. You shouldn't be trapped in this place like we are for the rest of your life. You should go to the city. With a powerful forte like yours, you'll surely find a wonderful future for yourself there. But, ma'am, what about you and the others? You go out there and make something of yourself. Make us proud. And these... Take these with you on your way there. Make it fast. Eh? Glad you found them useful. This place. This is where Master once lived in seclusion. The spaces are a jumbled mess inside this Sonarosphere. My dear, you've come all this way. I... I am... You gave me some food before. I haven't thanked you yet. You misunderstood my intentions. When I sought shelter in your hideout during the rain, I gave you rations as a small token of thanks. No need to be troubled hmm. by it, little one. Yo, what's up? lies in embracing fortuitous moments. I didn't understand what you meant by that. Well now, I only good. said those words on a mere whim. Never expected you to remember them so clearly. I've heard Master Xuanmiao is a wise hermit guru who helps people. Can you... Maybe take me as your apprentice? I've been searching for you for so long. Please, will you consider it? I want to live. Learn to control my power and become stronger. Or I won't see a peaceful and prosperous world. Do you know what defines a peaceful and prosperous world? People can take care of themselves and have a place to call home. <sighs> I... I'm a resonator too! I have a strong forte! Look! 
Is this flame manipulation? Such a fierce full power. If not used wisely, it may engulf you in return. Without proper guidance, you will eventually be reduced to ashes. Alas, perhaps this is fate. Okay, we'll skip this. I can teach you how to control your power, but in this world of ups and downs, oh, relying solely on brute force will not get you far. If you long for a peaceful and prosperous world, you must utilize your own intellect to choose, strategize, and shape the future you desire. Come over, child. You bear the powers of flame manipulation. A phoenix born from fire. One that shall bring peace to this world. From this day on, your name will be Chung Li. E. You have to go, Master. Oh, my time in this world is up, my child. I have my own destination to head to. I can only accompany you so far on this journey. Are you going to a dangerous place alone? Why can't I go with you? Oh, it's not your turn to go there yet, Chung Li. You are a very gifted child, and you will surely achieve greatness one day. But the price you pay for forcefully employing your forte can never be erased. Oh, your lifespan is doomed to be much shorter than that of ordinary people. I see. Yes, I understand. Remember what I have taught you. Ponder carefully, plan meticulously, and shield yourself wisely. For when you have grown into the person you aspire to become, your impact on this world shall be great. Chung Li will remember your teachings by heart, Master. But Master, this person you want me to find, how should I find them? When the time the world, comes, right? you will know, and you will have my aid. You need only use your wisdom to offer that person some necessary guidance. She is the only one who can truly change this world. You must find and help her. This way, the world of prosperity you seek will soon be within reach. I believe I've found that person, Master. This Weiji board and the Sonoro Sphere, they are both a puzzle and an answer. The end of the Sonoro Sphere turns out it's exactly where she is. Okay. I guess this is another riddle from my master. What you want? Oh. Mm, I see. Um. Mm -hmm.
Wait, what? Am I supposed to I'm gonna reach this with one two? Oh, I see. Okay. I get it. Make it fast. We back? I I'm fine. I think I'm remembering something. I've been looking for something for a long, long time. What is I don't that? No. I just remember that it's very, very important. Something that can change the world. But I'm starting to wonder why I'm even here. Everything looks so different from what I remember. And why do you look so familiar? We've never met before. We went in the future. Hmm? Part of the device. We might be able to open that door with it. What will we find behind that door? That's what you're looking for. Yeah. I hope so. Ooh. Make it fast. How do you like these? <sighs> I'll go cut him. Hold up. A scheme will be grander than not. I wish malevolence in its nascent guise. Master? Charlie, you have done well. Now that you have found the answers you seek, it is time to begin your journey. From this moment on, the choices you make and the plans you lay out, they will all lead to that future. Okay. Chang-Li. Okay, that looks sick. Sorry I kept you waiting. This place! It... Run! It's a trap! They played us! Damn. My blade, yeah. Bask in the sun. 
sunlight. Evils be gone. Universe in my psyche. Together we vanquish. Be reduced to cinders. Mind's eye. My blade yearn. Take form. Blood just heal to max. That's cool. Leave it to me. Photosynthesis. Bro, I hate to see when they start flying. So annoying, Loki. Banish all vice. Like this. Caution. There's a after attack. I've never seen that before. And you're dead. What's happening? She acting? <laughs> Don't worry. Hi, what's up? I'm kind of immersed right now, give me a sec. This game is almost over. Where's that attack in our skill set? <laughs> Can you feel it? It's warm. What's happening? Hurt it all. See? Okay, so what's the conclusion of that? What happened? It's Let's see. So beautiful. Uh, do we live forever now or something? find what you were looking for
Thank you for your help. The Midnight okay. Rangers have successfully apprehended all remaining Fraxidus members in the mountains, and the effects of the temporal disruption have now vanished. I lost all contact with you during this whole time. Did you run into any trouble? Sure. Temporal Wait, oh my god, I feel like hidden inside a I'm not getting something. It makes sense now from what just happened. Hidden for so long. I never thought the okay. solution would be to burn down the entire sonorosphere. Oh, so she does it. What happened? You just burnt it down. It was like a you went too meaning far thing back there, or whatever happened. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit too risky. I know my limits. Rover. Lady Chung Lee. So I wonder how long she has to live now. Or if it, like she got rid of that in some way. Lee is fine now. Thanks to his doctor's help. As for me, well, at least I can still walk a bit. After all, it's been almost five days. Oh, I see. I never properly thanked you for bringing me back to Hangzhen. I heard about the attack by the Fraxidus in the mountains. I... I'm so sorry. No need for that. I understand. The Fraxidus had their eyes on the same thing we did. They've been planning an ambush on us for a long time. Why would we blame it on you? We will never forget how you saved us. You gave us the opportunity to witness such a breathtaking sight. Thanks to your help, this journey holds no regrets for me. As for the truth behind the so-called secret of immortality, Fooling has told me everything. I had a gut feeling it would turn out to be a disappointment, but I couldn't give up. And in the end, I lost sight of why I even started this journey. But this isn't the first time this has happened. Let's just call it another adventure coming to an end. I've talked about it with Fooling. From now on, I'll take her on more trips to see more new places together. Okay. Until... <laughs> Until the day when I can no longer hold a pen. I've already talked to the folks at the publishing house, and they're happy to let me continue painting for them. My well, why wouldn't they, if you're good? departure may be unavoidable. But I want to give it my all until the very end. Goodbye. Okay, her legs were moving way too much for the amount of movement that happened. I know you have already looked past death. But remember, there are people who care about you. They want you to live on and be happy. Yes. I understand. Sometimes I wish we could stay together a little longer, if only for a while. Of course, fooling. I. We've always been. It's not time to be sad yet, is it? I've compiled a list of renowned doctors in Huang Long. They're highly skilled and may offer assistance for your medical condition, which is challenging, but not impossible to cure. Lady Chungli, I, I truly can't thank you enough. No need for thanks. If you're feeling generous and want to repay me, I hope to see Fu Ling's work in the next issue of Artists of Huang Long. Everyone's been missing seeing their favorite landscape artists work lately. You're a magazine reader. Are you surprised? Well, now I'm curious. What kind of a person do you see me as? Now that the situation has been resolved, you should return to Hongzhen. Wait, we're not going to say anything? Good rest. <laughs> okay. 
After going through so much, you must be exhausted, Rover. Why? Me? Well, I think Lady Xing Yi could use the extra help in dealing with the aftermath. Okay. Splendid. It's getting late. Splendid. Maybe we should wait until we get back to discuss anything else. I mean, Changi was just about to faint there, so I don't think she's doing that good right now. Nice. Huh? Two days? Okay. Can I even do that? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Two days later. Okay, let's do like midday. Two days later. Ah, oh, it's so nice that the time skip is so passed. quick. Oh, yeah. Since Chung Li told me she and Xin Yi would handle the aftermath. I wonder how she's doing. Are you worried? Let's just go ask her then. True. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, that was our voice line. Nice. Couldn't be wondering why it's not a voice line bug. <laughs> not hating or anything. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I, I low key hate like maneuvering like this town. It's like so awkward, and I don't know where any stairs are or anything anywhere. Okay. Greetings. We're almost done dealing Hello. with the aftermath of the previous incident. We're currently questioning the remaining Fraxidus members we caught at Mount Firmament. They wanted to get their hands on the temporal program from the legend of the Wei Qi game, with the intention of unleashing chaos in Mount Firmament once again. Chang Li recounted to us that a Fraxidus overseer had entered the Sonora Sphere and was injured by her fire. They were lucky to escape, but have not been seen since. I've put together a thorough report for City Hall. We will strengthen our defenses to make sure this doesn't happen again. I was in for days. We parted two days ago on the coast. And then she returned to Jinjo. No. Perhaps she's just taking some time to rest and recover. It must have taken a lot out of her to summon that much fire at once. Chang Li knew you'd be worried. And she wanted me to relay this message to you. Meet her at the pavilion on Mount Firmament. She'll be waiting for you there. Yeah, but she went back to Jinjo. She also said, No more riddles this time. Nice. The pavilion. Oh, is that one? I see. I remember. I think. It's like in that cave kind. Ah, do you have that? was a new fucking echo that I had it, the skin. But nope. It's the same one. Hello. How are you feeling, Rover? Well rested, I hope. How about you? Oh, can't you see I'm perfectly fine sitting right in front of you? A little bit worried. Don't worry, Rover. We are only having a casual conversation today. Nothing taxing. Mm -hmm. Besides, you only agreed to join me here for more questions, right? That's my only reason. Is that so? I'm curious then. Sure, ask away. I'm happy oh, this is to the lower part of the, the mission. My ability. Okay, let's go. Not a game record. It all started a century ago, when my mentor, Master Xuanmiao, 
had a brief encounter with a certain meow. peculiar visitor. Meow. During a TD outbreak, my master was rescued by that individual. She exuded a unique energy and was always elusive. My master dug through ancient texts and unearthed her presence in long forgotten history. After searching for several years, he finally met that person on Mount Firmament again. They played a game of Weichi together, and that was how the legendary game record came into being. At first, I thought my master meant the game record held actual information about the time crisis, but that was just a clue. The real key was finding you, the person behind it all. And lastly, the secret of immortality, it's most likely just the woodcutter's own spin on the tale. I mean, yeah. Sure, ask away. I'm Sonorosphere. My master and the mysterious visitor had set a trap with the Sonorosphere, using the Weichi game as a guise. They hid it with the Court of Savante's Chronos Orders, and it would only activate once the time flow on Mount Firmament was restored to its normal state. Despite the Sentinel and Mount Firmament being saved, the Fraxidus would not go down without a fight. They were convinced that the temporal mandate was hidden within the game of Weichi, but little did they know, they had already fallen into a trap. Pure coincidence or the calculated workings of the Fraxidus, the explorer stumbled upon the Weichi board, setting off its defense mechanisms. I the see. Sentinel was already damaged when it arrived here. My master had foreseen the disasters that would befall Mount Firmament, so he created this mechanism as a precautionary yeah, this measure. Game was like the Sonorosphere would devour another level, all then. who attempted to enter, unless they knew the solution to that puzzle. Am I burning everything down? Precisely. <laughs> the only way to escape was by burning the Sonorosphere without hurting anyone inside. It required masterful control of Forte. Thinking back, it was probably his ultimate test for me. I'm so stupid, man. It wasn't like... Uh, now that she's a mission of that cutscene is like... It means so much more. At the time I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Someone could plan so much ahead. That was his first goal with this Sonorosphere. Before leaving, Master entrusted me with a mission to find that individual, the one who played Weichi with him, the one who left behind that game record. After my Master's passing, she would be the only one who could control the Sonorosphere. By now, you should know who she is. I mean, we did talk about it, kind of. It's me. Yes. See, that's why you seem to know a lot about me. My master often mentioned you before his passing. And from the moment you arrived in Jinjo, I had my suspicions about your true identity. Our journey to Mount Firmament solidified my beliefs. And finally, the Weichi board in that Sonorosphere sealed the truth for me. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. What a little girl. Indeed, those memories, they were all real. The younger version. Yes, that's all in the past. Just a little homeless girl with no name. I never thought we could make new memories in the Sonorosphere, where only the past repeats itself. A moment of companionship and protection meant everything to me. Is a serial to immortality? What about you? 
I can sense your unspoken question. Did I sacrifice my life when I burned down the Sonoro Sphere? Yes. Like when I was a child. I want to know. Exactly. What I told you there was true. But I've okay. grown and gained control over my powers. Using my forte now won't harm me in any way. Of that you can rest assured. Like how much did they hurt in the past? Also, if you really are the legendary person who changed the course of history, then you are perhaps the closest to immortality, aside from our sentinel. We mortals come and go. Our lives are full of meetings and goodbyes. Our time on this earth is fleeting compared to yours. So don't let it bother you. I live in the moment. I see. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to leave this beautiful world behind. Then, would you be willing to finish that game of Weichi with me instead? Uh, I don't remember how to play. <laughs> and I beat her. The young orphan girl carried on. Everywhere she looked, More cinema, tragedies God rampant. As lament engulfed the globe, a world torn by monsters, filled with homeless souls. With her own blood as fire, she drove away the cold. And her master said, In this tumultuous world, lives are fragile as mayflies. She couldn't exhaust herself to save those before her. But she must endure to ignite a brighter tomorrow. She wielded her wits to evade harm, treading on knives with care. Alone, yet maturing through stumbles. Later on, she became someone else's teacher. She taught the future leader this. To guide conscience and secure prosperity for the people. To continue lost oh, teachings how old past is that? sages and establish peace for all. I will be the torchbearer. Maybe like even in the 40s or something. One can rid the world of chaos alone. One day, nah, the future I don't of prosperity think. and lasting peace will arrive. There it is. Cat name. Wait, before we go, anything else? You're welcome. Wait, what was the other thing? Chunk this future plot. I'm on Morgan Jean Show. Now I should be able to stay in Hong Zero a bit longer. <gasps> Chang Li in the hot spring. That's. The sight to behold. Close. What? I'm trying to. Oh man, I thought that would be like an achievement or something. But no. I don't know if she's gonna be here forever then. Pretty cool. Yeah, that was really good. Oh. It was. <laughs> Again, she's like. Some of these missions are like too big brain. And like, don't get them straight to me. But at the end there, I got it. Cool. It wasn't that deep anyway. It's just like confusing. I don't know. It was weird. But yeah. Really good. I liked it. Um, Nothing weird with the mission itself. Yeah. Good. 
just like a good story mission. And yeah, about it. <laughs>